What's up, everybody? How you doing? And welcome to another one of Mythic Pluses and what to know and do about them. So uh, what we're going to talk about here is I think it's going to be week uh, 14 of our Mythic Pluses and what's going to bring us into our new season. So our new week, I should say. So this new week is going to bring us Tyrannical, Storming and Raging. Wow. Tyrannical, Storming and Raging. Well, first of all, I'd like to say, make sure you hit that subscribe button here on YouTube excuse me, on YouTube, so you know when we end up having new videos that are going to come out, then make sure you go over to our Twitch page, make sure you hit just follow there, we're there every single Monday through Friday, doing Warcraft, talking about games, having fun, enjoying ourselves, trying to get gear, things of that nature, so please make sure you end up stopping in, so let's talk about this now, all right, so uh, what, what tyrannical storming and raging is going to mean? Tyrannical means bosses are going to have more health, they're going to do more damage. Storming is going to mean tornadoes are going to spin around and they're going to hit, you know, whoever's in melee range and it's going to do some damage and knock them into the air. And then Raging, which is non-boss enemies, are going to get um, more health and become, um, well, I don't think they get any more health. I think they just become immune to crowd control effects and, um, and interrupts and things like that. So you have to be really, really careful of that. So what does that mean for us this week? Um, well, as most of you know, we kind of do a general rundown of all the dungeons and I'm going to try to do that for you here once again. All right. Dawn of Infinites, Galakron's Fall is the first half. Uh, Tyrannical is going to be a real, real factor in there because you're going to have a lot of bosses, which are going to be a lot more hard hitting, which is specifically going to be the second boss and the third boss. Those are probably going to be your two hardest bosses in the dungeon instead of the any of the other ones so make sure i would say lost in part two of gal of blood of galakron to get through it that's probably your best bet so i would say definitely keep an eye on that uh also raging is going to be a problem you're going to have to have a lot of interrupts and you're going to really really want to keep an eye on those um make sure you have a, a druid or a uh what is it called or a hunter or something like that or a rogue that can end up getting rid of those uh you know those enrages Next thing we're going to talk about is Murazan's Rise. That's the second half of that dungeon. Uh, where are you going to find your biggest hiccups and problems? I would say that would be tyrannical because of the last boss is going to hit harder. So you got to be careful of that. And then uh, the second boss, or as we like to go second boss, which is, uh, what the heck is his name? Oh my God. Uh, battlefield that guy uh, so that side you can make sure you're gonna have to be careful of that so be careful of those things storming is just gonna be annoying it's gonna be in the way no matter what you're gonna do raging is gonna be a problem because you got to make sure you keep those interrupts up so that is gonna be really really hard to deal with uh, but it shouldn't be too bad overall uh, as for uh, Waycrest Manor uh, Waycrest Manor is going to be really really difficult uh, in my personal opinion. And I'm going to say that because the, you know, the tree boss is going to hit harder. It's going to do a lot more damage. It's going to be really, really annoying. The next boss after that, the the, the food guy or the pig, uh, the pig boss, if you will, he's really hard to defeat uh, because, you know, it takes, he just deals more damage, hurts people more. Uh, I think the biggest issue is going to be also interrupts. You need to keep, keep an eye on interrupts, stuns, things like that. Raging is going to prevent that. I think that's going to make that, that, dungeon a lot harder so please keep an eye on that as you're going through and then you'll be good now uh the next one we're going to talk about is a told Tazar. i told you're gonna have problems with the last boss obviously because it's <sighs> the spiders are freaking too many of them that fight is too overtuned i can't believe they haven't tweaked it or fixed it i'm sorry i'm so agitated on it so you have that uh, and then you're going to have the one with the three totems. Uh, you're going to have to be really, really careful of that one. That one's going to be hard to defeat also. Now, once again, Storm is going to play into effects because there's a lot of damage that's going to be thrown around there. And there's not much room that you're going to be able to move around. And then on top of that, you're going to have to deal with interrupts. And that means raging is going to play into effect. So be really, really careful of that as you're going through because you're going to have some problems with it. A uh, dark heart thicket. Uh dark heart thicket. Let me think about that. Um, you gotta be careful of interrupts because that's gonna be a hard place to deal with. 
Uh, Storm is going to be hard because you're not going to have much place to move. Um, tyrannical, obviously, because the bosses are just straight up annoying to deal with. Um, so yeah, just be very, very careful of that because I know like the, the first boss is going to be annoying because of the dots and stuff like that. The second boss is going to be annoying because he just puts so much damage out uh, at all times. So you just got to really be careful overall, I, I feel like. So just be careful. Uh, and then we're going to talk about Black Rook Hold. Black Rook Hold has some interrupts, not many. The Probably the hardest part is going to be the first set of hallways. So be careful of that with the interrupts. And then the interrupts when you're it's just that small the, the hallway between the first and second boss my god i'm so exhausted from from dealing with my son the then the hallways between the first and second boss are going to be a problem and then between the, the second and third boss so really storming is going to be really affecting those and raging so be really really careful of those the bosses in there aren't too bad to deal with the last one's probably going to be your hardest one just because of the you know the volleys uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah, the first boss will be easy. The second one should be yeah, you should be should be fine overall. It shouldn't be that difficult. Uh, Everbloom, there's a lot of mobs there, but not many of them need to deal with the raging. But with the increased amount of mobs, which means increased amount of storming, so be careful of that. Tyrannical won't matter on the first boss, but it'll matter on the second and third and the last one. So make sure you take those into effect when you when you're pulling for your time. Now, as for the in between the second boss and the third boss, all of those guys are going to be problematic because of the raging and because of the storming. So if you can skip more stuff in the beginning, so you can just pull them all as much as you can over there, that might be your best bet. Just pull them in small groups, deal with those accordingly, and you'll get it through. Just be careful of that last boss. That last boss is going to hit you so hard. Oh my God, it's going to be so hard. So be careful there. Throne of Tides. Hmm. It disgusts me, Throne of Tides, because the first boss is easy. All the trash going to the first boss is annoying. All the trash going to the second boss is annoying. All the trash going to the third boss is annoying. The second boss is so difficult to deal with. The third boss so annoying to deal with and the last boss so difficult to deal with so you have to really really be careful when you're ending up doing those pulls so you're going to have to end up going through that so uh yeah so i guess that's all of the stuff that you're going to be ending up dealing with while you're going through for these uh affixes for this week once you end up kind of getting accustomed to them and kind of doing them probably on lower keys you could try on those higher ones but they definitely are harder and kind of problematic. So be careful of that. Uh, once again, everybody, thank you so much for sitting here and listening to me ramble. Uh, please make sure you're using, um, you know, Lord PD TV uh, for your codes for your, your gaming needs when it comes to your gamer glasses, green screens, and things like that with sub 2R. They've been fantastic to me and they're amazing and their quality is above none else. And then on top of that, you're going to end up having your... Um, What's it called? Your rogue energy drinks. If you end up needing your drinks and things like that, if you need that, go ahead and get them there. And as always, we have our merch store if you're looking to have some cool merch for us. So thanks again, everybody. Dream Big Keep Gaming. Have a fantastic rest of your week. Good luck on your vaults. Good luck on your keys. Have any questions, please uh, you know, stop in the chat or drop them down below. Thanks again. Bye, everybody.